is going on you guys, my name is Sub-Zero Xtabyte and I am shooting right back at you with another video and today we are doing something rather special. Lately I have been wanting to go out and relive a little bit of my youth. You know just go around and doing some really nostalgic stuff. So that got me thinking. What is really nostalgic and what could I do that is really nostalgic? And you know that you cannot just go and do something nostalgic to make something actually feel nostalgic like making a working vending machine. You don't see them around as often as you would a couple of years back. That is sad. So you might know this, but to make something feel nostalgic you just have got to do something. And the feeling will come whenever it is there. So I thought that today I am going to be pursuing that feeling of nostalgia. And I mean, I really love the feeling of nostalgia just because it makes me feel at home and it gives me a little throwback to my childhood and stuff. So I am just going to go ahead and do whatever it takes to get that nostalgic feeling back into my veins. And the first thing that we are going to be doing is making a working vending machine because that is what me and my parents used to do when I was younger. So the first thing that I am going to do to find that feeling of nostalgia is just to go ahead and go to the movie theater and get something out of a machine. So something other than the movies that would make me feel all nostalgic is just to go ahead and play a lot of arcade games because they have a lot of vending machines there. And now since Minecraft does not really have any kind of real arcade games, now we did that before on this channel where we were just going to go ahead and play the arcade game mode. So this will be shooting us into a lot of different game modes and maybe one or maybe some of them will just give me that authentic feeling of nostalgia. At least that is what I am hoping for right now. Otherwise I am just going to get bamboozled probably and I will not get that feeling of nostalgia. And I will probably just end up crying in bed all night. Or maybe I will not. It is still a little bit of a surprise for me right now. Who knows? Maybe I will just start crying whenever I get that feeling of nostalgia because it will give me that feeling of having a little throwback moment or just an actual feeling of being back into my childhood which would be amazing to be honest because I love the time really but today we are building an actual vending machine now you might be thinking well Sub-Zero Extra Byte why do you want to make something like a vending machine? or in this case a vending machine in Minecraft to go ahead and feel nostalgic again. Well that is actually a pretty long story. But to make it a little short for you guys, I just wanted to make something really cool for you guys, as in a video. And I just wanted this video to kind of at home, so that you can watch this and it will make you appreciate your childhood and all of that. Or just your youth in general to be honest. And then I was thinking about the things that made me enjoy and love my childhood. And that was mostly just playing around in the summer. Having those late nights where you had to sprint back home because the street lights turned on and you should have been home by the time that this happened. And I just wanted you guys to know that you should appreciate all of those things. Because once you get older all of that is just going to be gone. And that is not a fun thing at all. But it is a part of growing up and I personally never liked it. But now of course that does not correlate in with the fact that I wanted to go ahead and play arcade games in some kind of an arcade hall. And that is basically just because that is what I used to do when I was a kid, and I used to love it. Or actually, I will just go ahead and tell you the truth. I really did not ever go into an arcade hall myself. I am just going to be honest with you guys here. I never went there, but still, the thought of an arcade hall makes me feel really nostalgic. And I will tell you why right now. I used to love to watch Toy Story, like the movies. And you have got three movies right now. And you have got some kind of Christmas special if I remember correctly. But I used to love those movies. And honestly, I still love these movies. But lately the weather has been getting better. And it is starting to feel a little warmer out. And I just figured that this gave me a nostalgic feeling. And that is what I am going to be pursuing today. Because it just felt so amazing. And you may be thinking, well okay Sub-Zero X to bite. We have got that out of the way. But that really does not make any sense to why you want to go ahead and make a vending machine. Well if you have seen the first Toy Story movie. Then you could tell that they go into some diner. Where you can get pizza. And they have an arcade inside of that pizza store place thing. And that is why arcade halls make me feel nostalgic. And they had vending machines there. Where you could get stuck in the skate Toy Story game. Because that always takes me back to Toy Story. And Toy Story always takes me back to my childhood. And that is just really cool in my opinion. So when you are growing up, you should look for those things. You should go ahead and look for the things that make you feel nostalgic to your childhood. And whenever you feel like that, 
you can just literally teleport back to your childhood and that of course all just goes for feelings right i mean you cannot literally teleport back into your childhood when you are watching toy story and feel nostalgic but you can actually make your feelings go back to your childhood and i cannot really explain the feeling of nostalgia i just know that it feels really weird from time to time and i know that i love this feeling because it is just the best thing out there and i think that nostalgia is something really powerful when you are growing up because it makes you feel right at home just like my new vending machine will do now that may not have anything to do with me building a vending machine in my backyard but then when you look at it from another angle it kind of has everything to do with me building a vending machine in my own backyard because i am trying to get my life back on track Literally. Ha huh, that was a joke and a pun in once. Because we all know that I will probably never get my life together. But at least we have each other and we can do all of this together. So that is why I want to build this thing in my own backyard. So that I can have all of the things that I love within a hand's reach. And that is kind of cool because that would mean that I do no longer have to go and travel from Roblox to Minecraft and of course from Minecraft to Roblox. But it was just insane to me that we have got all of this down right now. And right now. Now we can actually start to think about settling down and start taking it slow for a while but I am still considering that fact and it is nothing more than a consideration so do not start yelling at me because I will still be here for all of you to comfort you in sad times like when this thing maybe won't even work after all now next to seeing all of the redstone skills I have got right here I will be doing just a little bit more because I feel like I owe this to all of you guys out there I mean we have not been talking about life as much lately so you you know I just want you guys to know what I've been up to and such and I just want to talk a little bit to you guys and show some interaction because you know the time of the year has come again and we have had our summer where the days start to get a little shorter now but the sun starts to shine just a little less often not that it is much but hey beggars cannot be choosers I guess but yeah so I will be testing a lot of things today and I will be talking about myself a lot today so you will just have to watch out for that because this is going to be great right now and I can pretty much assure you of that well actually I should not have to because you guys should know that we are going to be having a lot of fun because that is just what we do around here and it is just amazing if you ask ask me right now so let's get started with everything now shall we you guys let's go but you maybe be wondering right now like well sub what in the world are you doing right now just doing something reckless like building a tower like this just out of pure boredom well yes and no I mean kind of yes, but really no. I mean there have been a lot of people trying to steal my stuff lately. And I really do not think that this is that chill at all. So I am going to find some places where I can put my chests, without anyone knowing about it. So that they do not know where my chests are. And when they do not know where my chests are, well that means that they cannot go and steal stuff out of the chests who they do not know the location of. So I know that this is like the most wonderful idea ever even though it might be just a little overdoing it. But I really do not care about that, because I just want people to stay out of my chests. And as you can see I am willing to go to the ends of the earth to get this done right now. I mean people need to stay out of my chests for a second or two, because I do not even have any stuff left for myself. I mean I need to have some stuff to put into this vending machine, to make sure that this vending machine will be running and storing stuff until the end of time. And then it will still be going on. And it will be making people happy because now people can finally get the stuff that they want. And of course mass production is really big these days so I guess that an inventory this size would possibly help with that. But of course we will be needing to make sure that this big freaking vending machine will not be used by the wrong people. And by the wrong people I mean the people who are willing to store and cook stuff that will hurt people. So just to make weaponry and that kind of stuff. I mean weapons are cool and stuff. But once you give a gun to a guy who has been having thoughts about shooting someone, well you know that might not actually be the smartest thing ever to do. So I just hope that this furnace will finally be used by people, and that it actually will be used in a good way, and not cray cray in a good way, but just, to better the people, to get food to store iron ore and other types of ore and anything from that nature basically. And when they pay, they will get that stuff so let's just hope that no one will use this to try and conquer the world because that might just be the end of my majestic big vending machine i mean come on i am not going to let people use my creation for destruction pain and suffering that is not my code man that is not what i am about so you know 
Maybe that is just for the better that I have gotten it on the top of a freaking Sub-Zero. Just so that people will think twice of actually going up there to create stuff in my inventory. But like I said I am going to be making it my life's goal to make sure that this inventory will be running forever. Or at least longer than 5 minutes. So I will be needing a lot of resources and that is the exact thing that I am going to be looking for right now. I will be needing to make sure that I actually get some resources and of course enough resources to keep that inventory busy and stacked because I am not sure if it actually will be devouring stuff faster or not I just know that it should be able to hold a lot more stuff than a usual inventory I mean a normal piston can only hold one type of resource and one type of fuel and this thing well I hope that it will be holding a lot more than just that because otherwise I am just done for I mean I have dedicated my life to getting and creating something like that it is just hard to see if it was all for nothing but right now it does not look like that but I will be needing to give it a few test runs before I actually deem it to be fully operational. You can kind of look at it like it is the Death Star. It was a big project, literally and figuratively. But not everyone was as hyped about it as other people. So you know, they had to ruin some planets first, before they ended up going with it. So this goes the same for my inventory. It might be big, and it might look really freaking cool. But if it is not, how would you call it, if it is not actually useful, then you know, no one would be going to use it. That is just a fact. It is just like a new car. It might look cool and it might sound great. But if it only goes 50 miles an hour and it does not even reach the top speed after an hour of driving, well then no one is going to be buying it. But that does not mean that I am not hopeful for it. I mean it is my creation. If there would be someone who should be dying to use it and should be supporting it through thick and thin, well then that should be me. Even though I am more of a glass half empty guy, this time around I am just doing a full 180 on that and I am going to be supportive of my work and that is about it. But of course, like I said, and that is the main reason why I am usually exploring caves and battling monsters. I needed more resources to actually show the people that my creation worked. Even though I am not sure how it works myself, but I guess that will come with age or something. Who knows, maybe I will not find out how it actually works until I am like 80 or something. But let's just hope that I will be able to figure this thing about before that time. I am just hoping that we can finally use this, and we are done with making like complete stacks of inventories. Instead we could just get one big freaking inventory in the middle of your screen or something and everyone could be able to use it without a problem. And you do not have to worry about running out of space. Now it may not look like something with high tech stuff right now but once I am done with all of the building and construction then you will be able to see that no one thief will be able to storm into my house and steal stuff. Because I have everything in my inventory. That is just how good I am at this and that is just something that I like to do. I like to prove people wrong and that is just the thing that I am going to be doing around here. Now let me quote you this from a book called Walden written by Henry David Thoreau and he says, and I quote, If you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. So I feel like I have always been the one that was building castles in the air. Now need it be that I did that around here in Minecraft or Roblox or just in my head that does not really matter. The essence of this quote is the fact that he says that you need to put the foundations underneath those air castles and that will make sure that they become a reality. Like my vending machine. I just want this darn thing to work so that I can cash fishes outside from inside. Man I love the mums. I am such a good member it is pretty much insane. I hope that I am not coming over as a cringe person because that would be making me very 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 sad to be honest. So I hope that you guys can live with all of that, and of course with my inventory. But forget about that, and forget about this because I am going to be making some more stuff so that I can cut stuff from like all the way back here while they are all the way back there. I know that this was a very detailed description about me caching things outside, but let's go check out if this thing performs like I want it to because that will be the only actual reason that I am buying these things. I mean building not buying. But that does not make sense whatsoever. And of course I am the lucky goat here again because this thing actually works like it is supposed to. Unlike that furnace I made once that did not even work for a little bit which is quite the bummer. But I think that I will be able to get over it with some time. But you will have to see it with your own eyes. I do not want you guys to just start believing me for no reason. Because there is a reason. So whenever this video goes up, make sure that you go ahead and watch it right away. But that is not why we are here. Or actually 
it is kind of why I am here. Because the acts of yesterday are the reason why I am here today. If that makes any sense into that right now. Because we actually have got a lot of bigger fish to fry right now. I mean I have got all of these vending machines to build right now. Oh wait that is called lifting right or gains whatever floats your boat man I mean I am on cloud 9 and you will never get me down from here because I am just that awesome yeah that is kind of my little rant to all of you guys out there and I hope that you all enjoy this little thing here I mean the thing that we have got here is kind of special and I really want to keep this going and that way we can all keep enjoying life and YouTube and gaming so thank you all and I will see all of y'all in the next video peace